How is it going, guys? <laughs> Drew Peacock here. I can't contain my laughter. So well, today we're looking at Ricer cars that you guys found on Facebook. Well, I guess we could say Ricer nice. I haven't looked through the listings yet, so they could be like some super crazy sleepers that I don't know about. But I'm just thinking of this one that dude is smoking some good stuff. I don't know if he's trolling or what, but dude's on the moon with his price. Um, anyways, today we're on Facebook, taking a look at some interesting cars that you guys found me. We'll see if one of these might be my next build or maybe your next build. Maybe I'm helping these people sell their cars, in which case, give me a commission check. Anyways, uh, this week is the week of SEMA. I may or may not be there. I am talking with, no, I shouldn't say I'm talking with them. I reached out to SEMA last minute, totally not expecting a reply. But uh, I have a couple buddies that are there that have already spoke with some people. So I may or may not be there on Wednesday. We shall see. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. First car, 2014 Hyundai Genesis Coupe 3.8 R-Spec Coupe 2-door. How many times do you have to list that it's a coupe? I've said it about three times there. It's been listed for 13 weeks. No biters yet. Nobody is, nobody's hopping on this crazy deal, apparently. Let's take a look at this car. All right, first photo. Genesis Coupe. I feel like these just fell off of the face of the earth. I see one maybe a month. So if you want a car that nobody has, go buy a Genesis Coupe. He's got a carbon fiber hood. He's got a fake tow hook. He's got tire lettering. I guarantee those are Adhan uh, fake three-piece wheels. Every Genesis I've ever seen has Adhans. I knew a guy who personally had a Genesis Coupe. He had Adhans on it. I did like his car though, it was pretty clean. Wow, what a different sliding can make. Looks like an absolute piece of shit in this photo. Looks like something that a junkyard would post. And then in this photo, oh, it's got some nice deep rich black colors. It looks pretty good. Tire lettering is nice and vibrant. That's a before and after of drugs right there. That's uh, Don't do drugs, kids. All right, finally, our first correct orientation photo. That is 100% held in with a wood screw. RWB, get this man a job. Where's the cock gun? All right, interior. We got some nice uh, Timu orange accents going on the interior. It's actually Timu's color as well, being orange. He's got a little shoe hanging. Okay, I've never seen that before. That seems like it's a fucking annoying thing to have. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. This dude is either 16 or 45. There is no one in between. Bright red seats, we have an aftermarket steering wheel with maybe a steering wheel cover on it. A thousand trees, his nuts be stanking on the interior. All right, decent photo. Not a decent photo. What, who the fuck uploads this photo? What am I supposed to look at here? There, there isn't shit to look at here. Doesn't look great from there. And then another dog shit photo. People, when, they, when people sell their cars, are they like, tr are they trying to sell them or are they like, purposely uploading dog shit photos so nobody hits them up because this thing's been posted for 13 weeks you guys if you are selling a vehicle please go to a dealership's website and get some inspiration photos because posting these dog shit snapchat filters trying to link up with high schoolers like this is something that you know you, you see the guy that just graduated high school he posts on snapchat like what's the moves after the varsity game ladies Plots, question mark? Uh, uh, straight up, I could see that spanning right across to the center of this photo. These are some ass photos. As for mods, the only thing I'm seeing, he's got a carbon fiber hood, aftermarket wheels, tire lettering. I don't know if he has big brakes or if those are just caliper covers. It is an R-Spec, so I'm guessing that's something special. I'm not a Hyundai guy. Do I look like a virgin to you? Don't answer that. Next car, 2019 Ford Mustang, PHP 19. He doesn't list a price. I don't know what PHP 19 means. It's been listed for 28 weeks, which is about half a year. And it's a beautiful EcoBoost. Look at this beautiful EcoBoost. The one and only Shelby EcoBoost. This must be some rare model. They must have resurrected Shelby himself and brought him back just this one time for one last hoorah. And nothing says Shelby like a goddamn EcoBoost. Oh my God. Shelby, I almost said Shelby owners. EcoBoost owners do everything they possibly can to the car, except just put a fucking V8 in it. And I'm not saying that if you buy an EcoBoost, you should engine swap it. I just would recommend not buying an EcoBoost in the first place, unless your only objective is to get from point A to point B and look cooler than a Honda Civic. 
that's it. But if you're going to be spending $2,000 on a steering wheel, $5,000 on a wide body kit, a few thousand dollars on wheels and tires, a couple thousand dollars on an exhaust system, all of it, a couple thousand dollars to paint match it, a thousand bucks on a front bumper. If you're going to spend all of this money, why would you not just buy a GT? And if somebody says, hmm, maybe he doesn't even care about speed, Drew, maybe he doesn't even care then why do all this shit? Why make it look like a Shelby? Why do all that if he doesn't care about speed? I want it to look like a fast car, but I don't want horsepower. That's fucking lame. That's, that's pretty fucking dumb, man. Like, there's a speed limit. Who the fuck wants horsepower? His fitment is also what you would expect from an EcoBoost owner. I don't know if it's on air suspension, but maybe air down in a fucking photo to help your case. It is what it is. A hundred... Oh, wait, 16,000? Oh, 16,000 kilometers. That's low mileage, but it's probably been in the shop half its life getting all this beautiful cosmetic work done. Automatic, 16 T miles, first owner registered. Accessories worth 1M. Now, there might be a translation issue here, but I have no idea what that means. Good as new, no issue. It is definitely not good as new. A new EcoBoost would be much nicer than this because it doesn't look like a fake Shelby. Suck my balls. Next car, 2008 Saturn View, 2007 SEMA show winner in GM's booth. Lots of history, 20,000 miles, beautiful SUV. I'm expecting to see the Mona Lisa of SUVs right now. Something that just screams luxury, class, performance. What are we gonna look at? What the fuck is this pimp my ride knockoff? What the fuck, $10,000 for this piece of shit? Oh, listed a month ago. Let's see why it's not selling. This thing doesn't scream SEMA. This thing screams fucking uh, food stamps. This thing screams unemployment. This doesn't, this doesn't scream SEMA. This interior looks just as moldy as a goddamn Lunchly meal. Pop culture reference. Look at that. that. That might actually be fucking mold right there. Either that or some poor soul got skinned and turned into a goddamn floor mat. There's three different shades of mold in the interior. Oh my God. Saturn View. Never knew this was a car. Um, and I, I don't think any of you guys did either. I don't think any of you guys are in the Saturn View market. What is this single fucking butthole exhaust tip coming out the center? At least he took decent photos. Oh, no, it's not. It's, they're like little G80 grills. He predicted the G80 grill before the G80 came out. God, this thing won? This thing was a show winner? What, what did it win? Best poverty build? I ain't trying to diss SEMA here. Obviously, this is 2007. A lot of things have changed. But this is one of my big things on people that flex that their car was in a SEMA show doesn't mean a whole lot. I mean, look at what we're looking at here. We got siren head fucking seats and giant microwaves in the back of the seats. I guess those are supposed to be TVs. How much does he want for it? $10,000? Who the fuck would spend $10,000 on a Saturn view? I don't care if it wasn't a SEMA show. Ain't nobody gonna say, dude, I just bought a new car. You're never gonna guess what it is. Like, honestly, you're never gonna guess what this thing is. If you guess, I will be blown away. Because no one is gonna guess Saturn view. Nobody's that excited to show off that car. This car was a SEMA winner. This car was uh in gm's booth at sema in 2007 think about all the cool cars gm could have had in their booth in 2007 we got the c6 corvette we got a nice cup no no camaro ford took care of that could have been a nice silverado though could have been a number of things but nobody's gonna guess a saturn view with rubber band tires and a moldy interior one of one right there ladies and gentlemen uh, if you want to read the description, go for it. I'm not going to waste your time. Moving on, next car. <laughs> Here it is. Here is the car that blows my mind. 2008 Lexus IS F Sport Sedan for $60,000 in Woodland Hill, CA. $60,000. IS from 2008. My girl's car is a 2007. Now, it's not a F Sport, and it doesn't have all this fake red carbon fiber on the interior but she also isn't asking sixty thousand dollars for it it is really clean i will say like this is a decent looking car I, honestly I, I if my girl had some taste 
this would be a nice little daily. Although I believe this is a V8. Am I, am I mistaken from that or no? Regardless, though, it's a pretty cool looking car. $60,000, though? You're damn near talking GTR prices for a Lexus ISF Sport. No shot this is for real. He, might, he probably put one extra zero. Maybe his finger slipped and he accidentally put one extra zero. I'm just like, I'm making this video to let you know. Change your price. This is not a $60,000 car. He's got a lengthy description here talking about Pokemon cars and the stock market. It does have a 416 horsepower V8, beautifully modded, like nothing you've ever seen on the road. I will say I've seen a lot of modded Lexus ISs that look damn near identical to this one. They all do the same thing. The updated headlights, similar hoods, um, nice paint job, and then usually the uh, cheap fake carbon fiber stickers. I'd say this is a pretty good example of what every Lexus IS copies. I shouldn't say copies. This guy isn't breaking new ground here. Every, everybody since the beginning of time has been doing this fake carbon fiber bullshit. But I will compliment it. It is a clean car. This dude is just smoking some dick thinking that this is a $60,000 car. That is crazy. I have a feeling it's a, it's a joke, but still, it was posted. Someone sent it to me, and it wouldn't be the first time somebody listed a crazy price and was serious about it. So $60,000? Why not? Next car, 2001 Chevrolet Cavalier. Goddamn, this is an old school car. I only have one story regarding the Cavalier. God, this thing is ugly. Back when I was looking for my first car, or maybe it was my older brother's first car or second car. Regardless, we were looking for a car, me and my brother. And uh, we came across the Cavalier because they are cheap as shit. Now, I mean, this one's 5,500 bucks, which is ridiculously overpriced. But I mean, back in the day, we're talking 1,000 bucks, 1,500 bucks for one of these. Back in 2017, they were dog shit cheap. And we were looking at him like, oh, this is a stupid car. This car's lame. I ain't gonna pull no hose in this car. And our dumb asses looked up body kits for him. It was like, oh, now, now it doesn't look that bad. And back then the Cavalier was the number one most riced vehicle right alongside the Honda Civic. It's probably just because of how cheap they were. So I was very, very close to seriously picking one of these up and throwing a body kit, probably similar to this one on and calling it a day. Because my dumbass, before I knew dog shit about cars, was a ricer. Anyways, he's got some uh, low-key flames. He's got some hood vents. He's got a weird front bumper. I do see some intercooler piping, which is interesting because uh, we see his turbo kit in the trunk. So maybe it's a spare. Maybe this is his backup for when he's at the track. Um, interior looks like something out of Pimp My Ride, which is pretty common for videos like this. It's funny how like they go super above and beyond and make this all beautiful, all sleek and color matched and you still have to crank that bitch by hand. Insane. The only thing that would have made that the cherry on top is if it had Lambo doors. Imagine Lambo doors with manual windows. Get your priorities straight. Now I have a feeling being the Cavalier is a very budget friendly option from GM back in the day that they probably didn't have automatic windows ever. I would not be surprised, but if you have a Cavalier with automatic windows, it's gonna be worth a lot of money to no one eventually. I also feel like his interior is, like the seats stick out a lot. They're the most normal looking thing, but they stand out like a sore thumb. Like if we go back to that back seat, like look at this photo. Why are the seats so basic looking compared to everything else? Just make them green too. Just make them fucking green. It'll be too much green, but it's already too much green. So just make them green. It's an automatic, very pleasant of him to paint the factory shift knob. Great, lovely. 5,500 bucks, it's got 120,000 miles. So it's not even like, oh, well, it only has 20,000 miles. So yeah, it's probably gonna last a while. No, it's got 120,000 miles on this piece. It comes with a complete turbo kit in the trunk. If you're looking for a unique whip, check out this Cavalier. No, I won't be. I will be moving on now. Last car, this isn't rice. Um, I'm sure there's some use. What motor's in this thing? I'm actually really uh, curious. What motor? It's a manual transmission, that doesn't help. What fucking motor's in this? I don't know. Regardless, though, it's a six by six. And uh, yeah, he's asking what, $95,000? It's got 56,000 miles. And don't get me wrong, this thing looks, okay, now looking at it from this photo looks pretty fucking stupid, I'm not gonna lie. Especially if this thing still only has like the little V6 in there. You gotta at least get the Hemi in this. I spoke it into fucking existence. You got a six by six with a tiny V6. This thing struggles from factory to do like 90 miles an hour. Imagine now. You're lucky if you're going 60. That is insane. Why would you do that to this poor vehicle? And then ask $90,000.
It's been listed for two months. It's a 2015. $95,000 for a 10 year old Jeep, six by six? What the fuck? Dude, 95, you could go out and buy a new Raptor Bronco and save fucking $20,000. You could probably go buy a full size Raptor for that price, a TRX. Who the fuck, are you, who's gonna buy this? This one baffles me more than the IS because this guy's actually, like he's for real. This guy literally thinks that his shit's worth $95,000 and that is mind blowing. I could think of 10 other vehicles with the same purpose that would be cheaper. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. At least if it had a Hemi, I could see it because those Hemis alone with like the Jeeps, they go for a lot of money. Like I think a new one, you're, you're spending like 80 grand, something crazy like that. I get that it's the final edition, but imagine spending $101,000 on a fucking Jeep Wrangler. It's not a Hellcat Jeep Wrangler. It's just a Jeep Wrangler with a 392 in it. This is insane. Whatever, people are dumb, I guess. That goes to show though, if this was a Hemi, I could 100% see him still getting $95,000 probably all day, every day. Might even be a little cheap. You cannot convert your V6 price into a Hemi price because you added two more wheels. You're smoking crack. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you for this episode. Crazy people today. Absolutely insane. Anyways, subscribe. Send me more listings. I actually got to clear out my Gmail a little bit, so you can't yet, but you will eventually. Anyways, until next video, peace.